Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now as a Brown, number seven overall. Just six games played for Watson in his debut season with the Browns, which really limited how much he could step into the franchise quarterback role for the team. But he gets a full slate to do so this season. Remember, his last year in Houston, over 4,800 yards. They expect excellence from him. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Here's Watson. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. And that is incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And it's second down. A shotgun snap for Watson. Swings this out for Hunt. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. On first and 10, Watson. And his throw here is incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Bobby Wagner, multiple times in All-Pro, in there to drop him for a loss. And how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. Well, following that sack, Watson and the Browns backed up for a third and long. Looking to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively, and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, Maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense, and it is a first-time Pro Bowler who leads him out, Charles, in his 11th year now, Geno Smith. When the Seahawks named Smith the starter last season, it gave him an opportunity he wasn't sure he would get again. And then he became one of the best quarterbacks in football and sustained it across a full 17 games, winning comeback player of the year. Saved his career with last season and keeps the Seahawks as true contenders. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Play action. It's Smith. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in. 
and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now Gino. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Throwing on third down, Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his time. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Martin Emerson, and the Browns are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. A last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. After the interception, here's Watson. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he'll get this to about the 34, a gain of just three. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Back to throw, Watson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Watson on first down. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Here's a handoff to Hunt running left. Trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Third down and one. Now it's Watson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now a first down throw. Watson. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. 
Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Handoff up the middle, Hunt. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they, moving the ball? Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. We're scoreless after one. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Watson now to throw. Touchdown, Browns! Elijah Moore, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action, we had some good play, just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was finished off by Elijah Moore on the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They run with a second-year man. It's Kenneth Walker. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Now Gino on first down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 45-yard line. Smith now to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Now Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Trying the left side with Walker. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside.
Here's Walker. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. A good run on first down, and now they contemplate a second and goal situation. Walker. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now Smith on third and goal. Flushed out right. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Geno Smith, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to shift from passer to runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. Myers connects on the PAT. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone. Oh yeah, he's feeling real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Throwing again is Watson. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Faking the give. Now Watson. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a good job there of knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to avoid three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they'll give to Hunt here on the option. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Here now, second and four. From the gun, here's Watson. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 45-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Shoves him away. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. 
Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. But what they're seeking with an RPO is space for the receiver to make a catch and then make a play downfield, but there wasn't any space available, thus the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A shotgun snap for Watson. Touchdown! David Njoku, 27 yards, and the Browns have taken the lead. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow-through. Roughing the kicker. Defense. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Geno out of throw. This is Fant on the short completion. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be facing a third and 12. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to seven. They need 12 here. It's third down. Up the middle, here's Walker. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to punt this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. 
And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and now it's second down. On the delay, here's Hunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. And he'll be well short of a first down as he stopped again right at the line of scrimmage. So they went a little cautious there on third and long. And nothing wrong with that. Remember, they're playing with a lead right now. So getting a first down, yes, that would be great. But even more importantly, take care of the football. No turnovers, no big plays for the other team. And keep the clock moving. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the score. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. A one touchdown ball game, 14-7 our scores. As we get back at it on EA Sports. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. to mark him down at the 39. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Geno. Smith and Jigbo hauling it in on the out route. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second down and nine. To throw is Smith. It's caught, block it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Walker now on first and 10, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. To throw on second down is Smith. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Now to the ground, here's Walker. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 59 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. And it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Now Gino. Out right to Smith and Jigba. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Smith. Going right back to Smith and Jigba. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And he will not be denied into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker taking it in from four yards out. And the Seahawks are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Extra point up and through by Myers, and we are tied at 14. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Jerome Ford. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. 
Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, they sent the power set out there, and their job is to be man-on-man -man and move people so they can run the football. But that time, too many men didn't get moved in the box defensively. They end up throwing him for a loss. Now it's Watson. And incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, Watson. That is incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Good drive last time, really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it. it up until they showed me a reason to do so. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Smith. He finds Smith and Jigba. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 24-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Now Gino on first down. It's going to be incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll take the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. Smith. Over the middle, finding Smith and Jimba. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Throwing is Smith. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that fall is incomplete. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. On comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. 
Myers' kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Here's Watson. And his pass incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now he'll take a shot for Peoples-Jones. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep blow with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now it's the rookie from UCLA, Zach Charbonnet. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. No gain, and it's second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. And Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett. Just a gain of a couple there, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Here's Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment.
So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. He hits his target, Lockett. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. From the gun, it's Walker. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting? End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Will Disley from eight yards out. And the Seahawks will add to their fourth quarter lead. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now Myers for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it all culminates with a Seattle score. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Ford now to return it. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. On first down, it's Watson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll make it second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On second down, here's Watson. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First target, first catch, and a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Watson. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 21. A gain there of 21 yards. 
Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. From the 21, it's second and 10. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing on third down, Watson buying time to his left. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Setting up the screen here, this is Walker. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now it's Watson and the Browns down 24-14. A minute 47 on the clock. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first. First and 10. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Watson. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Watson to throw. 
completes to Majoku, and he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Well, you need your best play here, no doubt. Fourth down and eight. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sticking with Walker on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Down to a knee. Here goes Smith, and that should all but do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half with the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.